Jen or Mer Griffin here, taking a look at the Vision Raptor tank. I got this at Clouds of Vapor. I'm sure a ton of people tell it, sell it. Um, it's basically the big brother of these little uh, Vision things that I like. So I figured I'd give it a try. Let's take a close up. So here's what came in the package with the Raptor tank. Now, this one I ordered extra and it's a low resistance one, so I'll put that aside for now. It came with a spare uh, coil, atomizer, whatever you want to call it, replaceable bit and a second mouthpiece and a little silicone ring. We'll have to see what that silicone ring's for. It came with a whistle tip. Blech. We'll just leave that. And we'll figure out what that silicone ring is for at some point. And they say, etched on them, you know, vision, whatever, SR, standard resistance. And the tank itself. Let's take a peeky. Open sesame. So, here's our tank. Ego connector. PG standard resistance. And you unscrew the tank. Oh, and that's what our spare silicon ring is for. Must be to put down there. And to change out the coils, you would simply unscrew this one and screw in a new one into the base. Pretty simple. And being as you can take it all apart, fairly easy to clean. Probably easy to fairly easily to replace that coil too if you were so inclined. Um, I'm not usually so inclined. And we'll screw the tank back on. Now, this is basically, to my mind, a giant Stardust Vision Clear Cardamizer. Pretty much just that it holds 6 mil instead of 1.8. And it works the same way, pretty much. You unscrew the mouthpiece. And sure enough, you can see down along the inside and there's space to dribble your juice. So you don't have to use syringes, you don't need special tips. It's just as easy as uh, squeezing in when you run down the side. Very convenient. I hate having to bring syringes around to refill things or tank filler goobers and extra tissues. And this is fairly easy and not messy. Now, I filled it all the way up to the top here. I don't recommend that anymore because I've kind of noticed a little bit of gurgling or like it wicks too well if it's too full. And I've had a little bit come out that center post when it's too full. It seems to do better when it's not. Uh... And, and that's with mostly VG in a PG rated coil. Now, it's a little tough screwing it in and out of there on an Ego, but I mean, it does go in fairly well. Now, the one thing is you can't put it on something that I put my visions on, like the buzz is, because the positive connection or the negative connection is those outer screws. There's no screws around that positive post like there are on you know, this one is an Ego connecting connector on the other Vision Cardamizer, but it's got a full 510 ground screws on the inside as well. So that I can screw on here and it will work fine. So this one pretty much is only going to go on an Ego type battery that has those outside threads above the button. Or you would have to actually use an Ego adapter. Otherwise, it's just not going to make the connection. Now, it looks pretty silly on an Ego battery on its own. It did come with this little plastic ledge, I guess, to make it 
to make the, <laughs> the going from the skinny, it's got a little hole area for the button there. I guess it's supposed to make it to go from that skinny ego battery to the huge mammoth tank not look quite so weird. And, and it works. Um, I actually kind of find it harder to find the ego button when that little ring is on there, but there you go. So that's a close-up look. Now, what do I think? I think it looks a little silly on an ego battery, but it holds a lot of juice. I think the flavor is pretty good. Like the Vision, it doesn't really seem very muted at all. Um, and like the Vision, you know, if you tilt it just a little bit to bring it to your mouth, this one almost wicks too well. Now, I haven't tried either of the other two coils I have. And I do have this turned up to about 4.2, 4.3 volts. Um, if I left it even slightly at an angle, I got some gurgle and then I got some juice down the bottom post. Now, it wasn't a big mess. But I heard gurgle. Of course, I've been vaping it now, so it's not doing it. Um, it did it more when I filled it, because I filled it when I started up to the line on the jar. And now that it's gone down just a mil from like five below, it wasn't doing that. So if anything, it almost wicks too well when it's really full. But you know, five mil is still pretty good. So to me, this looks, you know, the tank itself, not how silly it looks on a tank battery, but to me, the tank itself looks better than a BV Nova. It's kind of cleaner to fill because you just have to unscrew the mouthpiece and dribble it down. It's kind of great. So it looks a little more finished in that way. I like the um, extra tanks. I haven't tried the low resistance uh, replaceable that I got. I want to kind of kill this one first. I gotta say the little flimsy collar that comes with it kind of makes it hard for me to find the ego button when I pick it up. But, you know, that's just me. I think for a, a fairly cheap tank with uh, replaceable coils, um, so you can keep using the tanks, it's a pretty decent buy. Um, I might like my cardo tank still a little bit more, um, but if you have trouble with, I mean, cardo tank, even I have trouble with them sometimes. I'll punch a hole too big, or I'll punch two holes and it only needs one, and it'll dribble. This doesn't have any of those problems, um, you know, just over wicking if you leave it on its side. So I would leave it upright if you can, if you're having the over wicking problem, um, but it works fairly well. If you like the little vision cardamizers and want something that holds a little more, this might be the thing for you to give a try. Thanks for watching.